Welcome to the Burgess Solo Festival webinar with Anastasia Smirnova from Russia. And our topic of focus today is expressing essences of the ageless wisdom to disciples and students from a range of cultures and generations. This is a pretty long uh, title, but through this title we uh, bring in a very important topic of how we communicate the essences of ageless wisdom to people who are not really familiar with our tradition and how do we connect with the meanings besides the form through which the teaching is communicated. And so our guest today, uh, Anastasia Smirnova from Russia, uh, will share her experience as a professional psychologist uh, working with uh, parents, teenagers, and kids, bringing the wisdom of esoteric teachings to practical life. And uh, I'm really grateful to uh, Anastasia for being here today. Uh, hi, uh, Nastya. Hello. Hello, Alexander. Uh, welcome. And um, please, the microphone is yours. And um, I will share, will make you a presenter that you could share your screen with us. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now you would have to be able to share your screen. Yes, we can see it. Wonderful. Thank you for letting me in. And uh, hello to everyone. I'm very pleased that I can share my experience with you. And uh, I would love to have more questions because I have a lot of experience and uh, I would love to give all I can all I can all that will interest in for you because we're working for the one goal and when we share our practical our practice we can move forward faster I believe in this so I, I wish Alexander will give us more time for questions because I have a practical topic and practical topic request request questions so today I will share my experience as my work as psychologist I'm a part of Moscow group Moscow esoteric group and I have my own I can say club of meditations because I find out that in our life we most of the people and I, in the past, have a habit to, to split the esoteric life and simple everyday life. And it shows the most in our families. It shows the most with relationship with parents, with kids, with our relatives. And it always makes me suffer. Because when we are in our esoteric life, we're more clear, we're more sane, we're more loving. And when we're in everyday life, especially with our, with our family, we have a lot of conflicts on as an everyday routine. I believe almost anyone in this webinar can, can agree with me. And uh, almost everything fails to stop being um, sometimes rude with our families. So I, I start to work in how to fix it, how to change it. And during my experience as a psychologist, I find out that um, simple psychology as a classic psychology almost can't help. You can be very smart, very uh, polite with the client, but it's hundred times harder when you when you do this the same with your wife or with your 
transparent. And um, I start to find out what can help me through the Alice Bailey, what can help me in these particular questions. Because when you try to explain some very high ideas to the, to the simple client that came to you to the problem with husband or wife or kid, it, uh, it's, it's like water and oil. It doesn't mix. It can get one to another. So I find out for the translation. I find I try to find how to, to get these ideas from Alisa Bailey and put them into the work. And the first thing that shows me the way was the hints of uh, discipleship in the new age, volume two. Disciple knows because he works. So I start to work all the things I can find from Alyssa Bailey and try to, and I, and I start meditate how that, that it will look like in everyday life. And when you meditate, the questions, answers always comes. And it was magic because my life started to change. I, I find myself in situations in which I can see how exactly it will look like. For example, I like examples. Uh, I was traveling and uh, I find out that a man around like one man doesn't have a ticket. And I can't remember that he had a ticket. And uh, when it was come to check, the, the, the special government man came and checked for tickets. And he can find out the government was like displeased and uh, start to giving the, uh, the fine to this man. And I came and asked him, uh, I saw this man bought a ticket and the, and, the, and right in this moment, I connect our hearts, our heart centers from me to the, this uh, like, bystander and the government man and uh, right in this moment he stopped being um, like I don't know robot who doing his work and become a man and he asks me truly I said truly and he said okay I believe you and he'll pass by he'll go away to, to the to the other passengers and uh, the man asked me how you did this. I said, I just show him the truth, show him how I, what I saw. And for me, it was an answer how to bring the man from the, um, from the duty to the right human relationships. And, uh, it was my page from the Alice Bailey. So it was one of the hundreds examples how to how to act in different situations. It wasn't so much about language because I use a lot of language when I work, but it was how to act in the, in, in the situation and how to use the spiritual energy to the right relationships. So my second, uh, my second um, hint that I use very much in my work and in my study, in my life, it's uh, the plan is not imposed. I was very, very, it was very, very hard hint for me because I was, I was like, my previous idea that we had a plan and if you know the plan it's like a nice uh, when you are when you're a good actor you know your role and you can play and when the, the, you, you you say it you play it right it's it's a perfection and for me it was very hard to understand that um, 
it's my decision how to make it, how to modify, qualify, and adapt in the plan. And it was hard. In the beginning, it was very hard because I felt a lot of um, confusion. Confusion and mm, and when you meditate, it's all clear. When you act, it's you're like in the fog. So for me, it was constant, uh, constant, mm, 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 it was constant meditation. I can say that. So it was my first meditation in the like real stream in the in acting and meditating at the same time because to understand what to do I need to meditate to act I need to be present here so for me it was my first and very hard experience of meditating and acting at the same time and I did it very simply I hold in the, in the, in my mind the goal of divine plan like and like an idea and have a client in front of me and I did it with the most difficult clients because with some of them I really don't know what can help them drug addicts or uh, people who are dealing with death right now and when I was meditating I become much more effective much more much more Mm, much more uh, uh, like full of light and I can help these people much better than before and I can see it from my practice I can see it for the results I can see it for the changes that they, they have um, in their lives so um, but psychologists should speak in the language of the client and the idea was that psychology itself not always can help it's very it's like medicine it's, uh, it's like when you go to the doctor who takes the samples of your blood he can tell you only what happened with you but the same uh, the same doctor won't help you he only examines you so psychology is the most at my experience at my Point of view it's more diagnostic it has very few good tools to really help people to really change their life to really make impact on them uh, is it very work um, as opposite has a lot of a lot of tools to change the life very effectively but Diagnostic don't work without tool, tool don't, don't work without diagnostic. So when I mix it, I become really effective and a good, good, good psychologist because before I can only um, check the person and say, okay, you have this, that, and that. And like it will take one year to change. And after I start to use the tape, and translate it to psychologist work or even not even psychologist but the language the person speaks because people not always speak on the, in the language of psychology but hope but like good good news is that uh, psychologists is um, people who learn how to speak on the language of the person and I was very happy about that Uh, so that's how I start translate and I would love to share with you through your questions my experience uh, when I was teenager I believe that I was 12 I with my father came to the sun meditation maybe it was full moon meditation maybe something else I don't remember clearly and there was other leader who was uh, leading the meditation and after that he invited us to our house uh, and he has a son he has a wife and I find out a lot of common with this boy and we become friends and because I have, I have a friendship with this boy 
I find out this the person who was leading the meditation, he was um, addicted to alcohol. He was like, when he was drunk, he beat his wife and he almost never pay attention to the sun. And the sun was coming to the meditation because he, uh, he likes his father when he was around the people with whom he meditated. And I was have a chance to see there's a huge difference between a person who leads the meditation, who is nice and kind and spiritual, and like the dark side of the same person who was very different in his everyday life. And it was very, it cut me very deep in this age. Because for me, it was like a huge lie. How can you be such a good person in one and such a bad person in other? Because at my experience, family is the essence. Family is the, like, is the core. You can, it's, it's, easy, it's easy to be a nice when you lead the meditation, but it's much more important to be nice when you're with your family or on your work or, or something. So for me, it was, it was a lesson, I believe. And from 12, I, I decided that I tried not to be too good but I try not to be too bad and like invite the things that in which I believe in love, in unity, and the equal of people in my everyday life with everyone, not only with people with whom I meditate. And uh, now I have my um, people who, for whom I am, I become a leader, and that's what I taught them. That's what I give them. That it doesn't really matter how good they are when they meditate and be, like we have meetings. Much more important that how they are acting acting in everyday life. So we have a club, and we meet mm, like two, three times a week for short meditation on very on the, on the questions that. For most of us, interesting to like for health, for work, to make it like more sensible and uh, to make it lighter and with more joy. To enlighten the project, for example, now we have a lib Libra, uh, Virgil, and uh, it's uh, the best, the best for work because it brings the love and Christ to the matter. And uh, the work most, mostly is matter. So let's begin to the language. Okay, let's come back to the language. And I find out that teens, especially teens, kids can believe in almost everything, but teens do not believe in esoteric because it's not practiced by the people around them. So um, I always, I almost always have a question of uh, my clients. Can you explain to our 13 age son that uh, like meditation is good? And I ask them, do you meditate like every day? They said, no, we don't. And I ask them how they can teach from you if you are not showing showing them the results and some of them some of them start to meditate in like every evening to show their kids that it actually works and the the joy of that that their life is changing very fast in one week because parents become much more relaxed and joyful and playful and uh, less angry, and teens can see it's like in one second. So, how explain esoteric language for kids and teens? I almost always work with uh, with um, with something I can show them, and it's sad, but you almost almost never can show the absolutely satisfied person the results because he's already satisfied. And difference between good and better 
is very, very slight. So we talk about a uh, language of music. We talk uh, on the language of cartoons, and we're talking about we're talking on language of uh, fairy tales, with fairy tales with kids, and music and cartoons. And um, do you familiar with uh, Marvel universe? I believe some of uh, some of you are familiar of, with. Marvel Universe uh, characters. It's very popular now. And uh, my last talk with the teens, it was it is very, very nice girls, girl. She was, we were talking about superpowers. And I asked her, uh, what will be your superpower if you can gain one? And she said, okay, I would love to walk on water and I ask her what it will give you what it will give you that you already don't have what it will bring you and she thinks for like five seconds and she said nothing I can do the same with board I said okay so it's not superpowers like some waste of your um, choice or some waste of your possibilities she said yes it's a waste and it, immediately asked me, what will you gain? And I said, oh, it's a very hard question for me. I never can choose for one. But because it was a lesson, I answer not what I really choose. I, ch I, I, I answer what it will be like more showing for her. I said, I, I believe I will choose that people in my present become calm and the best of them and she said what does it mean the best of them i said okay one 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 person can be angry and can be good right if someone like hit his heart he becomes really angry right she said right and when he's in love when he's on vacation he can become very very good right she said right and you see how big difference between one and the other on the same person she said a huge I believe she be, she remind his her grandfather who can like be very very wide of this uh, oppositions, and she, she think for maybe ten more seconds, and she said, "I want the superpower too," and I said, "Okay, I can I can give you like superpower for like that will work for no, like hundred percent, but would you like to have the superpower that will works for ten? She said, of course, 10 is 10 times and you have a hundred. I said, mm, smart girl. And she said, okay, how to do that? She is very enthusiastic. And she was very enthusiastic. And I said, okay, calm, calm down. Listen to what, what's around you and find out the center, the center of joy inside inside you. Maybe it's in your head, maybe it's in your heart, maybe it's somewhere else, but it's always inside you. I said, okay. And I asked her, make it more bright. And she said, okay. And I asked her, then find the same in me. And she said, okay. And connect them. She said, how? I said, through your imagination, as like a superpower that works always for your imagination. I said, does it work? I said, you can only find out if you try. And she tried. And then I asked her to talk to me, but holding this center. And she was talking to me and I, I really feel the warmth through her voice and I said okay I believe it works but it doesn't matter because I know what you're doing so let's try on your mom and on your brother and he, her brother was in really bad mood because he failed his exam and it was like really 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 nasty in this moment and we tried and I can see how it works on her mom immediately and she tried the same on his brother and it didn't work and she said on mom it works and on the brother, no, said, okay, I think you need to train more because your brother 
and like more than 10% unhappy. She think and said, yeah, she's like 100% unhappy. And that's how it works. And when they see the results of their actions and they can see the results, because even through the psychology, it's, uh, it works. But if you add the uh, esoteric work as a group center, heart center, it works much better. Uh, and uh, it was two weeks ago. So I asked her, did she practice? And she said, she said yes, I practice it all the time with my school friends, school girlfriends. And it works really nice. We, we start be more polite to each other and, and less, um, less making angry jokes to, to, to the other people. And I like it very much because in previous, she didn't like that they, her friends are arguing about everything. So this is a example of how to explain to 13 years old how the work in the meditation and connection with a group center. Uh, don't share everything with everyone. That was in uh, Alyssa Bailey books too, because even they're saying, I'm not sure that I can give it to you in this moment. I'm not sure your like humanity is ready for this information. This information is hidden. So uh, basically, the language of Alyssa Bailey is uh, very, very, it's so many wisdom there that not everything should be shared uh, and how to explain hierarchy to housewife you don't need to because hierarchy works with a uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce the English but I believe all of you are, are very educated in Alyssa Bailey so you know that hierarchy works only through the high high Mm, disciples, high-level disciples, I'm sorry. And uh, to other people, it's only, a, it's only a mere presence. And so you don't need to explain that. But you can always can explain the full moon because you can explain the like, energy of full moon is for everyone. And um, I can explain the meditation of full moon almost to anyone and I find from my practice that women more than men are open to the information because they have much more practice work and they have sometimes failed in this practice work and they can try anything that will help them anything so when you give them full moon meditation and if you have time to invite them People are very open to that. And it show, it gives them results. So women are on their their practice, they have a like practice life. In my experience, more than men. So they they see results very clearly and very fast. Uh, not anyone accepts psychology language. So I used to learn a language of economic language, of biologic language, of mechanic language, of mm, sales, language of business, language of travelers, language of religion, because you need to translate. And if you can translate psychology language to the language of religion, you can very easily translate esoteric language to the language of economic economics. And um, 
you need to read, you need to talk to the people from different groups of and works and uh, social st social statuses. And the more you gain experience, the more languages you have. And it's really beautiful that every single meaning have their equivalent in different languages. Sometimes you don't know it, so you can't operate it. Sometimes I don't have enough practice in the subject, so I can't give the specific advice. But if you learn a lot, you can speak in different, different types of languages. And it's extremely beautiful. Then you find out that language of medicine, language of religion, language of esoteric and language of fairy tales have the same meanings and have the same patterns, but very, very different words. So an esoteric meaning is the essence of the esoteric. It's something, it's a Christ in, in uh, matter for me. But how to explain this to housewife? Um, for her, it's uh, healthy kids, good family, good relationship. Um, and it sounds simple, but it's really, really hard to get. Especially, uh, not like a moment, but like an hour, two hours, three hours, a week, a month, a year. It's really rare, even if it's on the tongue of everyone, it's quite rare. Super healthy kids in, in all means and good family. And meaning is uh, for a housewife, this is, is, uh, is this, healthy kids, good family. And to a scientist, the meaning is when he had a lot of research, a lot of results, a lot of real work, and had very little of bureaucracy of the procedures. Because for scientists in Russia, the bureaucracy is a, is a monster. And you all like, or you don't have enough money. And you have money if you're like professional of bureaucracy. And scientists most of the time hate the bureaucracy because it takes like 80% of the time and 80% of the resources and energy. So meaning for the scientists is uh, progress, is discoveries, success, st uh, students, and less bureaucracy. That's a that's examples how meaning of esoteric. Uh, shows up in my practice in the housewife and in the scientist. I took like two most opposite. What is meditation for housewife? It's a rest, it's a peace, it is a silence because most of the housewives are very tired of noise. And uh, to be effective, you need this five to 20 times a day. So the meditation should be short, effective, and um, built in the everyday routine. And uh, almost, I don't have a, a housewife that didn't see the results when she meditates and when she teach her kids meditate because they less noisy, much more um, stable. And uh, the beauty of this, they don't hit, they don't have so much bruises because they're much more careful and feel the space around them. It's very, very, you can see it very nicely with a small kid, like three to five to six to seven. When you ask him to meditate, for candy or because your mom asked to or because it's a beautiful moment it doesn't really matter they 
more healthy and have a less bruises. As it is my experience, I can I have it from like ten years of practice, and I can like I can count the bruises. For a scientist, it is ability to immerse into word abstract ideas. So, how in my experience, I I only want to what the scientists to meditate, and uh, we worked on idea to concentrate on the project and uh, like clean clear the mind from everything else. So our meditation was meditation on subject and clear mind from everything else. And we practiced that for 10 days. So he was able to like come back to his ideas, come back to his research in any moment because his problem was he can't, if he concentrates, he concentrates. If he gets distracted, he gets distracted and he needs a lot of time to come back to the research. And it was very upsetting him because it's hard. Everything distracts. And this is meditation for a scientist. What is soul? It is manifestation of everything that is good. More love, care, warmth in relationships. And um, uh, right now we have Virgo. And Virgo is most the energy that can be put almost in everything in everyday life. In kids, in studies, in work in the when you clean the house especially and everything become more beautiful and with more love with more energy when you do this so for so for the scientists is uh, ideas, progress, and focus on the important things. As I said earlier, there is a question in psychology that is really, really hard. They're really hard and they're very heavy and to work with them, you need a lot, a lot of time. Two of them is death. One of them is death, and second is issues with parents. And in classic psychology, it takes a year to recover from someone who you loved, and it's a good, it's a good progress. It's a, it's a good result. And uh, issues with parents can bug you, like for all your life. <laughs> and your afterlife, I'm sorry. And uh, if you don't use the esoteric work, if you don't use the, if I don't use the teaching of Alisa Bailey, um, I work with clients on these topics and I feel my ho um, helpless, my, help my helplessness. Um, and uh, because the teaching of Alisa Bailey shows the concept of soul, of much more bigger um, mind state than a person usually have. Uh, I work with, I'm sorry, I'll check the word and I'll come back to you. Because I'm not sure how to pronounce it in English. Anastasia, I can help with that. Uh, Mirovazenie. Worldview. Worldview. Because worldview of uh, like teaching of Alisa Bailey, it's huge. 
and death there is, isn't tragedy it's a it's a step but even if you give this idea to a person he still have suffering and suffering it's a huge power and to give him some tool opposite of this huge power um, basically the full moon meditation works especially the capricorn and um, yeah capricorn so because they desperate most of the time they can try they can they agree to try anything everything and uh, when you like give them rest for a day uh, they understand that if they continue to work the same practice they stop suffering and gain peace in the in the mind and soul um, I had this situation I believe three or four weeks ago one of my clients her dad passed away and she was completely completely ruined because he was young and uh, she didn't can't, can't imagine that would, would, that would happen and she came to me she knows that i'm not only a psychologist but also an esoteric worker so for me it was easier because uh, i don't need to explain a lot and to translate a lot so i show her the conception of soul con con concept of uh, spiritual life and concept that you can always connect with the soul through the for your mind and for your higher higher feelings not your like mm, suffering but for your joy and we work together and she felt peace for two days it's almost impossible in how to say it's a miracle on psychologist on psychology field because if you have can have a two-day piece you can continue and have like more day piece so we continued and sometimes she's suffering but then she start to work with her spirit work work with her mind and it's like a it's like a stairs in the beginning it's very hard but the upper you go the the lighter you became and uh, she's working through it. and for psychologist work it's almost a miracle because lose of the, one of the parents especially when you're young she's 23 it's a huge catastrophe i'm very proud that i have a tool and a knowledge and i can explain to her what to do and how to do that she can have peace If you will have questions, I will answer them with pleasure. So, Alexander, what? Uh, how much time I have? More. Um. Well, we would we getting close to time when we would go to meditation but it would be good to have some inputs from our audience as well but i also know that uh, you have some uh, interesting uh, methods to share in terms of use of the triangles and spe especially uh, astrological triangles in the work so maybe we can open uh, the floor for the questions and that would be uh, the first question coming from me to you how do you use uh, astro astrological triangles in the meditation and in your psychology work mm -hmm. and we can ask uh, our uh, audience to think about uh, any comments or questions or maybe to share own experience translating the language of uh, esoteric studies to practical uh, work language so that's great because my next uh picture was use triangles um, most of the time like like always almost always 80% of my work I use triangles because triangles is symbol of power and only power 
is strong enough to deal with matter, to deal with everyday issues. Because when you use only Virgo, it's not enough, like my experience. It's not, it's wonderful, it's calm, but it's not uh, persistent. It's not getting into the, into the matter um, effective enough. And in uh, uh, astrology, Elizabeth astrology, you can find hundreds of triangles from all, all almost any for almost any I don't know, question reason. I very like the Solomon two triangles of Solomon on Virgo. It's uh, Leo. Um, I'm not sure about English words. Uh, Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. And the next is... Uh, mm, can you help me, Alexander? Yes. VC, VC, uh, uh, Scorpion, Strelets. Libra, Scor Libra uh, Scorpio, Sagittarius. No, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that it's right. But I showed. I showed, 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 showed. It's a Kazirok Vadali Ribe. Capricorn, Aquarius, uh, Pisces. Yeah. This is Solomon, two triangles of Solomon. Works with the matter, like, great. When I work with death, I use Ribe, Kazirok, and Oven. Pisces, Capricorn, Aries. Yes. So, do you have more questions? So we invite our audience to um, ask questions or, or share any comments on this topic as we prepare for the meditation. And um, would be good to hear your experience uh, working on the similar. Uh, with similar situations. So uh, you can ask your, uh, you can talk by raising your hand and so we will unmute you or you can uh, write your comments in a, a lower part on the control panel on your screen. Um, so far, um, it, it might take a few minutes for people to uh, come up with a question. So, um, mm -hmm. if you have any more information to share, uh, uh, Anastasia, please. Sure. In my everyday work with Esoteric, I uh, use the like uh, energetic centers, energetic center. Energy centers. Yes. Mm -hmm. And basically I use them as a triangles too. I build the group centers by, um, by visualizing my own centers, the centers of the person and in the center between us, we built visualize the group centers, and in uh, the um, healing in the healing of Elisabelia, there is a lot of uh, triangles for different purposes, for education, for politics, for um, healing, and it works very well too especially um, with work one-on-one -on -one on, or with a live auditory. Mm -hmm. 
um, uh, Melissa asked you uh, to if you could repeat the tri the triangles that you mentioned. Uh, I believe that was about the Solomon seal triangles. The and uh, John asked you if you could talk a little bit more about the use of the triangles. How exactly you use it in your work? Um, so the two type of triangles I use every day. It's uh, astrological triangles and uh, for example for mm, some relationship problems I most of the time use triangle of Bliznitsi Dieva Scorpion Gemini Virgo Scorpio because three of this uh, one it work with uh, obstacles, other work with matter in uh, the like sense in the matter, Christ, Christ in the matter, and the third works with a good relationship between people. So it's uh, it, it it works very well with uh, with every travel between one person and another person with the group or just problem inside the group. Because sometimes I work with the business people, and, and they have a, a crew and uh, like a lot of people to organize. And most of the time, some group of inside the company are hate each other just just because. And the, the boss needs them to be connected and have a good relationships. And the psychology fails, <laughs> really, really fails. So we combine psychology and then uh, team works that will like make a, a like unity and spirit, and we work a lot of meditation because it takes away the 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 problems that that exist but didn't shows. I don't know how to explain it in another. There is a problems, but they not materialize. They not shows up but they are in the air and they ruin the communication ruin the work and this triangle works with this uh, spiritual heaviness mm -hmm. and the two triangles of Solomon it's uh, I'm sorry Raklev Deva uh, cancer, Leo, Virgo. Sagittarius, Capricorn, Pisces. And those are mentioned in the esoteric astrology and, and the uh, chapter on Virgo. Yes, it is. It is there. Hmm. Thank you. Uh, there is uh, one. Uh, hand risen so I will unmute Katya. Uh, Katya please unmute yourself. Well, hello. Um, hello. I would like to ask you Anastasia, uh, could you please give a small example of how you use this energy of triangles because it's um, very interesting but it might be not quite clear like you said, you meditate. Like, how? how what? What? Give, could you please give an example of small meditation on the triangle, on the energy of triangle? Sure. Hmm. I'll do it as we do it in Moscow. We have a big meditations and we have a small everyday meditations. Uh, and most of the time they're like, like three to five minutes because you need them a lot during the day. So they are not very official. So link to each other through, through the light. Uh, imagine, visualize your individual uh, centers.
and make a projection, visualize the same in the center, but group centers. The group centers are linked to your individual, individual centers. Mm. Um, so everyone put in in the center of the group your everyday routine especially one that you don't really like someone don't like to wash the car someone don't like to wash the dishes someone don't like to do homework with the kids something you're, that you are need to do but don't really like to do and uh, Upper than your question, visualize the sign of Virgo, Leo, and Cancer, but they're in the shape of triangle, and the Virgo is uh, closer to us and more bright. and through the group centers put the energy of the sign to your routine from this moment to the next month like feel the form with these energies today tomorrow the after tomorrow and the whole month After this work, let go of the all visualized symbols and send them to the light above us so they can be so they can disappear in the light. And come back to the um, real world. This is the sample of meditation that we make a lot because we bring a lot of energy, this, this high energies in our everyday life. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Anastasia. Um, there is a comment from Josette. Uh, I'm happy to hear you say we have to translate. As psychologist, I have the experience I need to understand where is the person, what is her way of thinking, and what is the next step for her. Mm -hmm. It's very nice to have a colleague here. Mm. When people talk, they show you the where they are, and when they 
tell you about their dreams. They show you where's, where's the next step for them. In my work, it's, uh, it works like this. Thank you. Uh, I also want to uh, share uh, with you um, some sharings that Julia Tarnowski from New Zealand uh, sent to us. She couldn't attend today's webinar and she asked about the uh, recorded um, uh, the recording of this webinar uh, and said that they very interested in the topic in their community in their group in New Zealand because they also work with young people through um, uh, what is called willing uh, workers uh, uh, on organic farms and they have uh, young people coming to New Zealand working with them and so they uh, sh through this work they share uh, some of the concepts and meanings uh, from uh, Alice Bailey's books and so I could read you just a couple paragraphs from the sharing that Julia sent to us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we provide rhythmic spiritual living and a holistic lifestyle on a large natural rural property as well as in the organic greenhouse. It is often over communal meals that the discussions occur naturally and the deeper issues lead to offering esoteric concepts in the context of their life situations. As a retired psychologist, my focus is often psychological as personal issues lead to a shift in values and worldview. This is where cosmology comes in, the evolution of the planet and of human consciousness. And also, uh, I, find, I find that they are interested in their astrology charts from a soul perspective. What is the purpose of their life? So I work with this. Likewise, I use the Ray questionnaire and a values profile to a certain similar information, soul ray and future values. In this way, we a certain similar information, uh, sorry, in this way we address the immediate concerns and then add concepts about the soul and the Aquarian age. We teach that the soul gives the energy and consciousness equipment for the lifetime and stores it between lives. We use visualizations and meditations of the chakra system and the soul energy infusing uh, this. I talk about the ray, uh, the ray differences, and we discuss how to work with the different ray makeups in a group, strengths and weaknesses. So that was from uh, Julia Ternowski sharing on this topic of this webinar. That's great because she rises very, very nice too astrology as astrology charts um, almost everyone that I met in my life uh, listen to astrology some some people don't believe some people believe but everyone's listens so when you make can make a um, it's it's a very a very nice door for di for deal for dialogue with person because Maybe it's true, maybe it's not true, I mean, in the mind of the person, but it's anyway interesting. Absolutely. So, um, as we are now under the energies of the Virgo full moon, and I suggest we move towards the meditation using this astrological opportunity of this beneficent sign and uh, work on the topic of how do we communicate the essence of any concept and how we translate it to people with whom life brings us with it. So if you, Anastasia, could lead us in meditation, please. Okay.
please connect with light with each other visualize your individual soul and connect individual souls to the group soul in the center of the group above us visualize the Virgo sign Imagine the net of the group world services, the triangle net that covers the whole earth and become a part of this net through your own triangles. very high above us visualize Shambhala, hierarchy and humanity and please each of you choose the part of Adelaide teaching that you believe, that you use, that you like, and put in the center of the group. Maybe it's healing, maybe it's astrology, maybe it's something else. And imagine your life as a field of services. From here to the, ne to the next to Virgo. And now, using the energy of Virgo, fulfill the part of the teaching that you choose with energy of Virgo and put it in your everyday life, in your service, in your work, in your family, in your habits. And Imagine September and the energy of Virgo is fulfilling the September and bring the, your ideas, the part of the, of the teaching to the September. Then to October. November December
January. February. March. April. May. June. July. August. And September. And now open the individual group centers and ask hierarchy and our teachers to send through us the energy and ideas that they need to be on earth. Clear your mind, clear your spirit and open your centers. And we send our thank you to the, our teachers that they guide us. And let's read the great indication. Alexandra, can you read it with me? Yes. From the point of light. Within the mind of God. Let light. light stream forth into the minds of men 
let light descend on earth from the point from of love, love within the heart of God. Let love stream forth into the hearts of men. May Christ return to earth from the center where the will of God is known. Let, Let purpose guide God. the little wills of men, the purpose which the master is known, sir, from the center, from the center which we call the race of men. Let the plan of love and light work out, and may it seal the door where evil was. Let life and love and power Restore the plan on earth. Thank you much. Thank you very much for participating. Thank you, Anastasia. Um, there were a couple more questions, if you don't mind. Uh, no, I don't mind. Um, there, there were a few questions about triangles, and uh, uh, mm, Melissa asked you if you could repeat the triangle that you used uh, that you use working with the topic of death, and uh, uh, Yoke asked uh, if it's possible that you could give example where you work with the triangle Sagittarius, Capricorn, Pisces. Okay. Стрелец, козерог, рыбы. Um, I'll answer for the second question first. I use uh, that triangle when I work with uh, uh, all matter, for example, as a law, as a prison, as a наследство. Inheritance. Inheritance. Uh, and I can explain why. Because when you work with a very hard matter, uh, you need uh, very strong energies. And uh, Pisces gives you uh, gives you freedom from the form. The Capricorn gives you power to go to the or to the, the most deepest. Mm, Holes, depths, or to the to, to the to the top of the mountain. It works with both energies. So when it's uh, hard, when it's difficult, when it's desperate, the, cap the energy of Capricorn is the, that that works the best. And uh, the Sagittarius, right? Mm -hmm. It works with a goal, with a destination. It helps you choose the path. It helps you choose the path right. And uh, when I work with death, I use the triangle of oven. Aries. Pisces and Libra. Because all of this uh, uh, in astrology of esoteric astrology, I believe it's all about the big changes and uh, it's uh, the science when you get or out of the um, incarnation, yeah. manifestation.
I hope I hope I answered. Yes, thank you, thank you, Anastasia. And I can add to that that um, the practice of working with astrological triangles is based on your, uh, of course, a knowledge uh, of the qualities of those uh, signs, but mostly it's what comes with your intuition. When you meditate, and especially meditate with a group, and you work or meditate on a specific issue, you, in a way, ask a zodiac, what of the qualities that are there can help solve your problem or your issue. And it's just part of uh, my experience, our group experience, that the, often the answer comes from certain signs uh, which offer their energy for your meditation. It sounds, I totally agree. Yeah. So try to bring that practice to your meditation and see how it works, because the practice is the only uh, answer. Uh, the, the disciples knows because he works. So thank you very much, Anastasia, for your uh, presentation. And um, thank you for uh, willing you through uh, this language barrier. And uh, I'm happy we doing it under the energy of Virgo. And that's something we all need to learn to do in our everyday life, willing ourselves through the barriers of understandings and barriers of languages. Thank you everyone for participating in this work today and um, let's stay together, uh, stay connected and uh, please uh, join our uh, next webinar on September 21st. Uh, it's going to be a Virgo New Moon webinar, and we will continue working with the uh, cycle of uh, New Moon meditations focusing on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. This coming New Moon, uh, it will be the last uh, webinar in the first cycle as we go through all 17 goals. Uh, this time we will focus on goal number two. Uh, and hunger, achieve food security, and um, uh, improve nutrition, and promote sustainable agriculture. Uh, that's going to be on September 21st. And starting with the cycle of a new moon in Libra, we will uh, start over with all 17 goals, and we'll um, begin the new cycle. And our next full moon, uh, webinar, uh, Libra Solar Festival webinar, uh, will be focalized by Maria Caligari and Bart Cook from the United States. And we together will reflect on the topic of right balance. So thank you very much. Let's stay connected and let's sound together Gayatri. O thou who gives the sustenance to the universe, from whom all things proceed, to whom all things return, unveil to us the face of the true spiritual sun, hidden by the disk of golden light, that we may know the truth and do our whole duty as we journey through thy sacred feet. Oh.